Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill and in this video um, I'm going to show you some emails uh, between myself and a customer, well not even a customer, myself and an eBay member and myself and eBay. Just to give you an idea of how much eBay spy on you and how much they are almost Gestapo. That's the only way I can put it. Um, I'm going to give you a basic of what I've happened and then I'm going to show you the emails. Um, basically, I got contacted through my eBay account on an item where um, a member basically said he follows me on YouTube, he hasn't got a YouTube account to comment on this, so he commented or contacted me through my eBay. Because, of course, I advertise the eBay and that through the videos. And basically, he was asking for help on identification and dating of a 18th century bow. Now, I later ended up telling him it was 18th century Worcester. Um, but anyway, basically, um, I asked him for photos and that, and I gave him my phone number through eBay and said, send me some photos and I'll help you to date it and identify it. There was no mention of me buying it, no mention of pricing, no mention of him wanting to sell it. Yet, I just had a formal warning off eBay. And I'm going to read all the letters to you now. Um, where they have threatened um, make sure I keep my account in good standing for the next three days. But they're going to monitor. And um, basically saying that my account could be suspended. They can charge me for, get this one, they can charge me for commission on sales that don't even happen yeah, the sales I don't even have on the suspicion that I've sold them offline. If I sell someone offline, tough shit. It's up to me to sell her offline, but I haven't done that. You can't have a go at me for selling someone offline when someone was simply asking me to help them identify something. So this is going to be a nice little rant video, this is, guys. Um, I'm going to show you the emails, and I think eBay was totally unjustified. I haven't been on eBay for over a year. And uh, to be honest with you, I come off it because the sales weren't represented by the costs. The costs were far too great for the sales. Um, I was having a lot of unsolds, um, and it wasn't the prices. It was simply I could sell the stuff at the shop. I could sell the stuff uh, at markets. I was getting the same money off people face to face, and I couldn't get it off off the internet. Uh, so I come off eBay. But as you know, I've got the shop now, and I I want to sell the high-end items, the dearer pieces in the hundreds um, and th possibly thousands. And for that, I needed a bigger marketplace. So I thought, all right, I'll pay the fees as, as bad as they are. Didn't realize how much eBay spied on you and tried to control you and stop you even talking to people. Um, absolutely disgusting. I understand before people come in and say they got to protect their business. Yeah, fine. Um, and do you know what? If it was any conversation of money exchanging hands or in, with intent to sell the bowl to me or anything like that, I would 100% on my hand up and say, all right, yeah, maybe I, I shouldn't have given my number. But this was a simple conversation. If they'd read all the, the emails between us, they would simply see that um, he was a fan. He followed me on my channel and he was asking for help on identification of a bowl. And I said, fine, send me some photos, which he did. I haven't bought nothing off him and I haven't tried to buy nothing off him. Um, so yeah, tamping isn't the word. So I'm going to show you the emails now and see what you think. Okay, so this is the item in question now. So it, it basically it was a set of uh, Lincoln uh, candlesticks, Lincoln Imp candlesticks. And his message came through and it was, Hi Walter, watch your videos daily. What I find with the Bretlin, that was the, the beautiful watch I had the other day. Looks legit amazing. I'll have to bring a few pieces over sometime for you to have a nose. Sadly, don't have a YouTube account to comment. Uh, picked up a footed bowl yesterday from charity shop. Hard to age it though. Um, now he wasn't saying that he's going to bring pieces over for me to buy. He simply wanted to come and show me some of his buys. So the next email there then was me back to him replying saying hi thank you for your email your bowl looks nice from what I can see in your pics if you want either send better pics on Facebook or pop him in the shop and I will have a look at it for you uh, the, the watch that should have been watch 
that there was is amazing thank you should have been watch uh, had it authenticated this week to so it's mine now his reply to that was I know you've expanded your knowledge on this type of pieces uh, basically the porcelain and he gets as regards Nick so I simply replied knowing now he can't contact me on um, you know YouTube and that so I've said hi yeah my whatsapp number is there Send me some pics of the bowl, if you like, including the base. I won't be able to look there tonight, but when I get to the shop tomorrow, I'll have a look, basically. And then he says, will do. There is no mention there of me buying the bowl, him selling the bowl. I haven't tried to buy the bowl. I've helped him identify it. The bowl was 18th century Worcester English. Uh, but these pictures weren't good enough, really, to see that. I wanted to see the foot, the rim, the paint, and everything. Um, it was... Um, about 1770 Worcester, first period. So anyway, um, that's the conversation that went between us and I helped him identify his bowl. Um, and then what he do, he goes on eBay, he finds um, some first periods to value it. This is my warning, written warning off eBay today. Uh, hello, Auntie Serena. We're writing to let you know that activity on your account may not be following an important eBay policy that requires all transactions payments to be completed on eBay. Offers to buy and sell outside of eBay aren't allowed. This includes offering or requesting contact information or links with a member-to-member -member message without a recent transaction, displaying contact information or links in a listing except as allowed in the policy or required by law. Below are the details, right, blah, blah, blah. So there's the, um, there the link and imp and that. And then that's where I put my WhatsApp number. And then they go on to say, in order to protect you and your buyers, if something goes wrong, transactions must be completed on eBay. We're invested in bringing you more buyers and helping your business grow. We want to continue to grow do that. Now, I wasn't trying to sell or buy off eBay. I simply was trying to help him identify something. That, you know, that's what I do with my YouTube and my Facebook. And then it goes, eBay provides methods to personalize a transaction. For example, you can make private offer and or best offers. I wasn't trying to sell or buy. We understand that you might not have known about these policies at this time. No restrictions are being placed on your account. However, all except applicable fees for the item where this activity occurred still apply. So basically, what they're saying is now, even though the item haven't sold, they're still going to charge me a final value fee on that item because I spoke to him through it. We encourage you to review details of the policy under what you can and can't do during the next three days. Please make sure your selling activities follow these guidelines. If you don't, your accounts may be subject to a range of actions, including final value fees may be assessed when you have offers to sell out of eBay, even if the item didn't actually sell. You think you're going to charge me for something that I haven't sold? I'll see you in court. You won't be able to list or buy for seven days. Do you know what? I'd cancel my direct debits and they'd have to take me to court and they'd lose. Oof. Some of all your fixed price listings may be hidden from search results and the fees won't be refunded. You won't be able to send or receive messages with members unless you have recent transactions. If you have any questions, contact us, blah, blah, blah. We appreciate your understanding and cooperation. Please do not reply to this message. It was sent from a thing that don't accept messages. What a controlling bunch of a-holes. That's my personal opinion anyway. And if eBay's watching this and they don't like it, I don't particularly care. I really don't. That is absolutely ridiculous. Um, all right, fair enough. It may be in their policies that you're not allowed to talk to other people. What's wrong with talking to people? I'm not trying to break any of their rules of buying or selling offline. Well, they're worried they're gonna lose a couple of pence in fees absolutely tamping i hate having warnings especially when i haven't done anything wrong um i didn't see a problem in giving my phone number out so he could send me some photos so i can help him date the bowl what was wrong with that i give my phone number out on youtube i give my phone number out on facebook i advertise everything to sell it through uh, ebay why wouldn't i sell it through ebay if i'm uh, listening on ebay at least that way then um you know i got their money and you're not messed about, you know, they're almost forced to buy. So, yeah, I, uh, it's safe to say I'm tamping. Um, there was nothing on there whatsoever that was trying to buy or sell. <laughs> I know what to say. It says one thing, though. eBay watch 
every single message, every single thing you do, and they scrutinize it. Do you know, Sandra got tortured um, back about 18 months ago. Sandra was on eBay, selling on eBay. Um, uh, eBay ID was Lifetime Beauties. And she sold an item to Australia. Um, we shipped it out and it, it was slow arriving. And the man was texting her every day, phoning her every day, calling her every word under the sun, the C word, everything, you name it, he was doing it. He was doing it in text and he was doing it on phone call. And we complained to eBay over and over and over and there was nothing eBay could do. They wouldn't do a thing. And he was giving her some level of abuse. To the point Sandra quit eBay and never went back. She, she hadn't sold on eBay since. Um, so don't tell me they can see an email by there where I have given someone my phone number to help them um, when we asked them to step in and deal with this gentleman who was abusing Sandra and they told us there was nothing they could do. eBay is all for the buyer, all for themselves and couldn't give a monkey about the seller guys, plain and simple. It is not, nothing short of that. As long as they got the buyers they know the sellers will come. So that's my little uh, eBay experience for the week. It's been great, I've sold loads this week. I listed a load of stuff on eBay and I've sold loads and I'll do an eBay review on my sales now um, tomorrow. And you'll get to see my uh, eBay sales for the first week of um, sales. And the figures are great. I'm not gonna moan about that, but I'm disgusted that they're giving me written warnings and kicking off simply because I'm talking to somebody. Absolutely tamping. Do you know what, if I'm not trying to do anything illegal, like trying to sell the stuff off the, that's not even illegal, if I'm trying to do something against eBay's rules, um, then I don't see the problem. Do you know, people who sell cars and things put their phone number down all the time. They say, oh, if you want to view the car for me and uh, I'll arrange a viewer and this and that. And in all honesty, they're the ones eBay want to watch because at the end of the day, they put it on there, people go to see them, they take the car off, it's sold cash eBay don't get the commission. This was simply me trying to help somebody identify and date a bit of porcelain. How pathetic can you be? Tamping. <laughs> tamping, I really am tamping. <laughs> anyway guys, I'm gonna leave it there. Do you know, if it was another option, if the website was selling the Dira pieces, I wouldn't be on eBay. Um, I really wouldn't. If I had another option, I wouldn't use eBay. I come off here for a reason and I've only gone back on there now because, well, I want to raise as much as I can to buy a shop. It's the only reason I've come back on eBay to uh, sell some of the dear pieces, but I don't want to be on it. I really don't. It's not a nice selling environment whatsoever. And when you're under scrutiny like this, you can't blame me. Anyway, guys, if you sell on eBay, remember they read everything. They see all and they know all. Bye for now.